What I'm doing today, I'm fitting the uh, door lock, uh, the door kind of deadlock uh, clamp kind of thing, security, because uh, that's my biggest worry on my security, uh, getting in the doors. Uh, uh, I've got a chain as well to put across the front door there, guys. I hope that camera's not shaking too much. Let's have a look inside the van. So it'll be above the lock there. That's the just the standard lock on these guys, which is not brilliant. So it'll be up here somewhere, the plate. We'll go up here. Let's just look inside, because you've got the back of plate and the front plate there. I'll show you once I've done it, guys. Uh, and on the inside of the van here, just shut that door a minute. Up here, guys. All my pinned sugars there. <laughs> uh, inside the van there, so from the outside, it's going to come round about here. So the back in place, uh, just get one of the backing plates, they're really heavy these backing plates, there's a backing plate guys where the bolts go in. So that'll sit in the door around about there. And the corresponding black and plate for the uh, bolt assembly, for this assembly here guys, a bolt assembly, where it links onto. And that's what will be on the front side. And the backing plate for the back side. Uh, that will go there somewhere. Uh, with you see guys so that'll go there somewhere so uh, I need to take this piece of wood off because this will be against the wall there but it will be there somewhere that'll be the backing plate for the uh, for my bolt to go on to and uh, for the uh, the aisle lock uh, so yeah so, so I think we'll go in there probably go as low as I can around about here somewhere I'll draw around there I'll get a pencil I'll draw around there where the position is going to be Draw where the holes are going to be, get the relevant drill, drill the holes straight through the door. Lovely jubbly. Here we go. Right, I'll just show you this, the thickness of the door guys. Uh, also we need to make sure that um, these bolts uh, are going to be long enough. If not, I'll have to uh, get some more. Okay, so basically that's how it's going to be. Obviously it's going to be on the door there. But uh, you see those bolts go straight through and lock onto the other side. Now you can see there's a little bit of the bolt protruding there. But uh, don't forget the plate is overlaying in that rubber seal. So that'll be that'll be another 2mm we'll have there once it's flat. And the same that side, that plate is uh, overrunning that uh, white seal. So that'll be flat against the uh, door once it's done. So there's going to be plenty of room there for when those bolts are in. And we can bolt it up and set it into the door so it'd be a sandwich like that uh, this is the inside uh, plate here where the bolts will go to uh, that, that'll sit in the door around about there i've measured it up where i'm going to drill the uh that'll go around about there lovely jubbly and uh, i'll need the corresponding other plate uh, which will be going here but uh, i'll wait till i've got this side fitted first I wait till I've got the latch side fitted first uh, and then I'll put the actual bolt side on afterwards. Uh, so I've got the relevant uh, bit of driver in my drill here corresponding with the actual screws at the lock, the bolts that go through. And we're going to drill straight through the door. Don't like drilling holes in my van but uh, hey ho. Uh, so hopefully this will work guys because uh, there's no turning back from this. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's just get some lights on as well. Make it a bit bright in here for you guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here goes the first hole. I've measured it ten times, like my dad always says: measure, 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 then cut. Right, here we go, guys. First hole, we're going straight through the door and out the other side. sure those bolts go through okay yeah that is actually perfect to those bolts lovely jubbly get these as accurate as I can here we go again lovely jubbly the third one the last one Smash it. Right, uh, I've actually pulled the wood off here. Now it's had the cables for the uh, ESU unit and everything on the van uh, going up through there, plus the uh, 24 volt line as well. It looked like a solid piece of wood. 
till I took it off and there's all cables in there so I've got to be careful with that because I need to put that plate behind the cable and I'll put that back on uh, once I've done that guys uh, but uh, we'll measure that, all that up once we've got this lock on let's get this bolt fitted shall we lovely job right so there's the screws there on the outside it's all nice and neat guys you can see there lovely jubbly nice neat finish I'll just uh, smooth that off a bit before we put the plate on uh, we'll put the uh, ratchet plate on there, we'll put the locking plate on the back and we'll get the bolts in there as well. Lovely job, Lee. Back at you in a minute. Right guys, there you go. That's the locking plate. The front, uh, the bolt plate on there, nice and flush. Got it coming through the back there, as you can see, with the four screws. Now I'll get the reinforcement plate on there, which is this one here. And, uh, which reinforces the whole assembly guys, it makes it bloody tamper proof we'll get that on and the bolts fitted Back. And there's no way those are coming off there and the last one There we go, all nice and secure. Right, so I've got to get the uh, other plate on there. We'll get the uh, the lock on there and measure it all up and make sure we've got it in the right position before we go and start drilling this side. Uh, need to mark it up as well. Nice, here we go. That's the front side there. Nice and flush, nice and square. So I've got it in black as well, which matches the van. And on the back side there, you can see the reinforcing plate there, guys. That is solid. There's no way, even if you get a, a, gen, a, a jenny under here or a wrench or anything, there's no way you're going to get that off there with, other than ripping the door to pieces guys really. It's going to be a lot better than that lock there I tell you. Right, so let's get the uh, latch on and see what it looks like. Right guys, these latches are actually removable. Uh, so we're not using this, you just put it inside the door of the van. I mean, I could cut this rubber seal away and go there, but I uh, don't really want to do that. Ideally, it would be there. Let's just uh, get that latch again. Basically, it'll go like that, guys. Okay. There is a lip on the inside of that latch there, so people can't get a jenny underneath there. But if, if they could, they wouldn't be able to lift this. If it's reinforced both sides, and that's what it'll look like uh, when the lock's on. So that looks like the position there, guys, just on the inside of that seal. Put the lights on. Bear with me, guys. It's all a bit up in the air. It's really awkward when you're on your own trying to film. Uh, right. There's a plate that's on the door. That's all in there. This has all been wrenched in and locked in. It's all locked in there. That's solid as a rock. Uh, I've put the plate there as well. Uh, now, I had a major issue with this. Um, I've got to put this wood uh, stanchion back in as well. I'll screw all that in. I may have to cut a little bit of a groove in the back of this here so this slots in properly, but I'll get that sorted, so that's fine. All looking dandy. Just uh, go outside, I can step over all me the state of this floor, guys. Bloody tools everywhere. And it's bloody freezing today. That wind is bloody bitter again. Anyway, let's go outside, guys. Bear with me. It's nice and sunny, but that wind is bloody freezing. Right, uh, there's the one on the inside, the uh, plate, steel plate. So that's, that's about a quarter of an inch thick, that plate is. There's no way they're going to rip that out. And there it is, secured to the door. Uh, but I had a major problem with this. I've got to touch this up a little bit here. Because it was raised against here, it was too far away, the latch wouldn't drop on right. So that's how, how it's in normal mode when you're not using the actual security system. Uh, but uh, you leave this inside, I'll probably put it on a little shelf inside. And uh, when you come to use it, um, it just, see the latch there, it just latches in there. Fits in there like that, here we go. You roll it across to there, that position, roll it on there like that. And there you go. That's it, it's in the full mode. Just sh shut the door properly. There you go. It looks nice and tidy, it don't look too bulky. 
Uh, I've actually, because this was a brass uh, Yale lock, uh, high security lock guys, I've painted it black so it doesn't blend uh, sharp too much. You get uh, three keys with it as well. Open it like that, lovely job line. Pop it inside there. Press it through, take out the key. And there we go. That's it locked and secure. Okay, don't look too bad does it? Looks all right. I've painted the lock so it's not so glary and in your face now. It's all nice and black to match the van. Come back. There it is. It's not too obtrusive, not too in your face. But uh, that is solid, guys. That is going nowhere. Even if you've got a crowbar, if you could manage to get a crowbar in there somewhere, there's nowhere to leave a crowbar. Even that's filled up there, guys. Even if you could get a crowbar in there, there's no way you're going to prise that off this van because you've got the steel backing reinforced plate behind and this one as well. So that's a quarter inch steel. That is going nowhere. Lovely jubbly. Don't look too bad at all. Okay, let's go inside and uh, finish this one off. That looks a dream. Alright guys, here you go. That's all done and dusted. All nicely fitted. Lovely, quite pleased with that. Uh, it was a bit of a pain putting that uh, the receiving plate in. I had to move it about four or five times. Also, there's a, a bit of alloy uh, strip going down the side of the uh, door, with, uh, and uh, where the plate went in is right in line with the screw, so that caused me a major headache. But I've just sorted it out anyway. That's <laughs> uh, okay, that's all sorted, guys. Lovely jubbly. Thanks for popping in. Uh, I hope you found that useful. Uh, say that unit there, that federal lock. Nice piece of kit. I think it was only 20 quid, something like that, off Amazon. It's a lot better than 78 quid for some of the locks uh, that's recommended for uh, vans. A uh, bit of a pain to fit, but uh, measure it all up nicely, guys. You'll be okay. Uh, that's gone on there perfect. Now I'm really happy now when I'm leaving the van. If I can leave this van now, you know, if I, because it's such a big van, you can't get down to the little villages in the little alcoves, the seaside places, the fishing villages. You can't take your van down, can you? Uh, that's why I've got my bike on the back. I'll park up on the top somewhere, a mile away, get on my bike and run down to the village and spend the day down there, uh, whatever, or going for dinner or whatever, or camping or whatever I get up to when I'm out in the uh, van. The sun's blasting through now, that's lovely. Uh, so wherever I'm away from the van now, I feel in my heart this van is as secure, as secure as I can get it. Nobody's getting in that bloody door, and that is a fact. There's no one getting in the two front doors as well, with the chain going across to the two uh, handles on the door. No way at all, so. Uh, that's my uh, happy bunny. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, so it's, uh, I think it was only about £20 on Amazon, uh, this piece of kit, guys. And um, I think they're called Has Has Aspirin Stable, something like that. Haspen Stable, I think that's the name of the product. It's all hard and steel. It's all up to a CEN grade 4, which is gold standard. Lovely jobly. And obviously the padlock is from Miao. That's a high security padlock. I think that's got a five pin cylinder. So nobody's going to crack that padlock either. Lovely jobly. Anyway, go. guys, all the best, all those ones that are out there. Freedom, freedom, we're free to roam at last. Have a cracking time. Show us your videos, show us your Insta shots, your Facebook shots. Look forward to seeing them all. Till then, guys, you'll be good. Till then.